Hello and welcome. If I've ever spoken to any of you about Azure Industrial IoT or you've tried it yourself, you might have encountered some issues where orchestration across the multiple modules on IoT Edge sometimes have difficulty talking either to themselves, uh, in between each other, or potentially to Kepware. This requires remote uh, troubleshooting diagnostics through SSH, getting connected to the remote IoT edge, which can sometimes be a pain. Today, I'm going to quickly show you something new and very cool that uh, Azure has come out with, Microsoft has developed, that helps monitoring IoT Edge and the modules that are running on IoT Edge. And this can be extremely useful um, specifically for Azure Industrial IoT, but also just managing uh, a fleet of IoT Edges by using Prometheus metrics formatted uh, with log uh, analytics workbooks that are built into IoT Edge. So let's quickly have a look here. So. Um, you can see this article I've just searched for IoT Edge metrics or something along those lines. And um, I come to this page that talks about collecting and transporting metrics. I haven't actually watched this video, but you can see in this little architecture, nice little architecture here that describes we're going to install this metrics collector module, and this is going to read Prometheus formatted metrics from any uh, specific modules that are running on my IoT Edge that are um, providing metrics in a Prometheus um, compatible format. By default, it does this to the two um, default ones, the Edge Hub and the Edge Agent. We're going to add three other ones for the Azure Industrial IoT modules to get the OPC Publish, OPC Twin, and OPC Discovery. Um, and we're also going to use this option one here, Communications Pathway, which is just the default where it's going to use HTTPS and the REST API to publish uh, the collected metrics up to a log analytics workbook. There is another option here uh, for, for some individuals who may want to be using only uh, device to cloud messages. We can essentially have them packaged up over device to cloud messages. But as you can see, it's a little bit more, um, more steps in the workflow and um, um, frankly, for how I have this set up and how I'm using this with other customers, we're using the MQPS over WebSocket anyway, so it's all going out 443 on HTTPS as a WebSocket traffic, so it doesn't really matter too much from a security perspective. So let's just, this is meant to keep it simple. I'm not going to read any of this. There are a few um, required um, things that we're going to have to fill in here, resource ID for our IoT hub. Um, Log Analytics Workspace ID. This is where the metrics are going to be published and saved to, to be made available for the Log Analytics Workspace. Uh, shared key, which is a secret to be able to write in there. Metrics Endpoint CSV. This is not required, but you can see that the default value here is using the Edge Hub at 9600 metrics. And we need to get those other three modules. So I'm going to specify metrics endpoints so that we can add the other ones on there as well. And that's all. So let's go over to uh, Portal. Um, I've kind of maybe done this once before, but I don't really know what I'm doing. So we're just going to kind of go IoT Edge. I have prepared all the values ahead of time. And I'm just going to kind of search for the marketplace offer because there is this, this is what we want here, this IoT Edge metrics collector. And specifically, I want to deploy this over a layered deployment. I don't want to do it to a specific um, device, right? The, part of the intention here with the, the Azure Industrial IoT and layered de deployment approach or deployment approach is to be able to cover a whole fleet, right? So we're not going to say deploy to a device. We're going to say deploy at scale, add to a new layered deployment. I've selected my IoT hub here. Let's create this layered deployment. And I'm going to call this IoT Edge uh, Metrics Collector. And um, Let's go. So here it has, OK, this layered deployment is going to embed this module. And I need to set um, the environment variables. If we come into the environment variables here, you can see I've got some placeholders in here of what this is looking for, what it's going to require for its configuration. These are going to be pushed down as environment variables to the Edge module, which will then do the scraping and collect the stuff and push it up to Log Analytics Workbook. So let me just um, grab these um, over here. 
good. Um, my log analytics workspace ID. My shared key. specifically this here Oop. so this is what I was mentioning changing this and this guy is called metrics endpoint endpoint CSV and I've just added to the two default ones here edge hub edge agent as well as it's a comma separated list discovery 9700 uh, I did check on uh, the logs of each of them for which address they're they're leveraging and I guess the one thing to mention here is that these have been available for quite some time but they had to be they were experimental features and they had to be specifically uh, enabled as with the Azure Industrial IoT 2.8 release uh, these are turned on by default so this is this is why this ought to be so simple for me to set up is that they should already be running um, and I've just pulled these addresses out of the logs um, this is not a rehearsed demo so we're gonna see what happens and what else do I need to do so I'm gonna update that and upload target I didn't set this one as your monitor this is the default option that option one that we saw and I mean that should be good and next routes I don't need to set any specific route um, that would really be more for for you using the device to cloud messaging or not priority we do need to give it a priority I'm gonna call it um, 100 target condition I'm gonna say tags I think it's type basically I want to apply this to all of the IOT edges that are of type I I OT edge I think that's what it's called tags of type might have to come back to this uh, uh, single quotes oh that's looking good right so there we go that's worked so anything that I've applied the that IOT edge tag to which is going to deploy my Azure industrial IOT it'll also apply this uh, metrics collector rules and agents let's add that on there we've got my deployment manifest let's create this let's see what happens uh, okay so now we come into IOT edge deployments we see it at the bottom here uh, priority 100 zero targeted zero applied might take a second for that to come up because we did see it come up in our list when we looked at the devices one two three four yeah so that's seven devices that should be good ideally good seven targeted seven applied and so now the next trick is going to be to go down and check out the edge so let's get connected to uh, my IOT edge and let's have a look at what's running look at this it's already running even that was fast 44 seconds ago um, so we have the metrics collector running Edge Hub, Discovery Twin, Publisher, and Agent are still running. This is a good thing. But a minute. It's going to take a little bit of time because the default scrape frequency, if we come back to this document, well, we give it some time to, to kind of get set up. Scrape frequency in seconds, you know, typically in a Prometheus kind of configuration, we're talking about 15 to 30 seconds. This is five minutes, uh, which is quite different. 
but we kind of have to think about the use case here. What what we're trying to accomplish is we really want to get some health metrics from the edge side uh, so that the IoT Edge gateway is telling us what's going on. It's pulling some metrics together. So I would say it's not really critical. This isn't a centralized application that we're monitoring. It's a, an edge-based system that we want to be able to know who's online, who's offline, uh, have there been any errors, and you know, pulling these things in periodically every five minutes I think is pretty good. Um, you know, you can obviously turn this up or turn it down. It's going to depend on how much uh, we're going to be ingesting into the log analytics workbook. So we'll start with just the default five minutes. Um, and and one other thing that this is going to do for us is, um, you know, typically the Prometheus format doesn't have logs, um, but we've got some cool other stuff that's going to come along with this that we should be able to leverage uh, also. So let's go see if we got anything so far. Um, that was done, that was done. So I'm in my IoT Hub now. And if I scroll down a little bit on the on the left, I've got these blades uh, for workbooks. Um, you can see I've got a number of messages coming in. And if I click on the workbooks option here, I've got this device details um, workbook. And this is the one that also has been added um, to the IIT Edge family uh, sometime over the past year and um, okay so what do we have here so as I mentioned earlier it's likely that we don't have the data yet because it's five, five minutes and it's going to take oh we do okay look at this so we've got some interesting things here um, and this is this is new to me I've never seen this but we first of all we have the modules that are reporting right so we're getting a module view of the various modules that are running on there and we're getting a reporting status of each of the modules um, and and one of the things that's quite nice about this is if you did have any issues you know having a quick view of what's going on with the modules is really the place to start we can see things like memory consumed CPU consumed by the different resources so you can also see if you got a lot of um, data that's flowing through here we'll get a little bit of a resource overview being able to remotely drill down into um, what's going on here we can also see uh, resource consumption of our IoT Edge. So uh, you can see we're using a couple of CPU percentage points here. You can have a look um, through this yourself, but this messaging thing, this is quite interesting as well. Um, I've not actually seen this working, I've heard about it, but this data set writer UAT2E9F4 is the one that's associated with my Kipware server. So here we're actually seeing um, some very interesting metrics about the latency between the message sends as well as the message counts that are being transmitted and received and how many of them are going per hour. So, um, you know, this is the type of thing we're starting to get to a point where we can see what's going on. We can look at trends. We can look at what we're expecting uh, on an hourly basis. We can see if there's a drop or if there's a spike. Um, so I know that we've just enabled this, so it's not really showing us much, but uh, this is extremely helpful for just being able to do remote troubleshooting. Speaking of remote troubleshooting, um, you know, here if we were looking at multiple multiple agents, I have the IoT resources for um, I've specified the device, but if I had my whole fleet, I'd be able to see also the that fleet view. I didn't look at that workbook, but the the kind of fleet view. I don't think there's any other um, IoT edges online presently, but if there were, I could have a look at um, the specific aspects of the fleet view. But let's come into, I want to have a look here. Uh, let's just say we have a uh, situation where we're not getting any telemetry anymore, right? Uh, instead of having to connect into a VPN, maybe get into the plant network, be able to SSH into the IoT edge, I can just come in here and click on the publisher. Um, something along these lines, settings, host, and I do this resource messaging modules, host, live view, I should be able to get into this, five minutes, troubleshoot live, this is what I was looking for, I believe, yeah, so live troubleshooting, and now it's going to take me into this live troubleshooting view, and and you can see here I have this drop down combo box where I can select the publisher module and you can see I'm getting the logs 
Uh, so, you know, th anything that I would be seeing in the, the logs for the publisher here as far as, you know, message rates and things like this, if I did have a, um, um, you know, a rejected certificate or something along those lines from the publisher to my OPC server, that would show up in here. Uh, and I can obviously specify a time range since, let's say, 15 minutes, enter time instead since the past five minutes. Uh, so I can kind of drill down and really see what's going on. We've got normal status messages, normal status messages, all is good. So that's just kind of a quick overview. Um, super, super handy, uh, especially if you're monitoring and managing multiple IoT edges with Azure Industrial IoT. Even if you're not using Azure Industrial IoT, just from an IoT edge perspective, this is incredibly um, interesting. And I guess the last thing, let's just quickly have a look back at the workbooks here. Um, the fleet view because that was a device view we were looking at device details for getting into the specifics uh, we didn't talk about alerts but obviously now that we have alerts um, the data that's coming in we can set alerts to notify somebody if for example our pub publisher module crashes uh, it's no longer responding no longer connected we can have somebody get an alert on that um, and then the fleet view similar is going to give us normally a view of the status of the various IoT edges over the past couple of hours. I'll say last hour just because we just set this up. Um, there we go. So yeah, we don't have um, any other online devices other than the one we just had a peek at, but you know, quickly traffic light traffic light view on how many of them are healthy or not. If you have multiple plants, if you have multiple IoT edges, this is, you know, just a, a quick view coming to IoT Hub, you get it here, uh, super helpful.